This is Flip My Bike. We're finding bikes out of favor and well past their sell by date and we fresh them up. We find a bike, fix it and sell it for a profit. At least that's the plan. Today we're on a hunt for a hardtail mountain bike. It's all about weight, speed and performance. Can we find one in the right price bracket? We're yet to find out. I'm not talking about Carrera. This time we'll be searching for something better. A mid-range hardtail mountain bike. Can we find one in our price range up to 100 pounds? I believe we can and if we do, most likely we'll need some repair. So we'll have to be prepared for that. Let's dive in in this episode and in the market today and let's see what we can find. Everything seems overpriced to me, but I believe we can find the right bike today. Whoa, I found it and it's still available. It is a Boardman competition for only 90 pounds. That is the bike for us. Let's not waste any time and go. Boardman competition for only 90 pounds. You must be kidding. I'm well excited to go and get your fantastic bike to flip. The bike is Boardman HT competition manufactured in 2011. It is old but gold. It's got 26 inch wheels, hydraulic brakes, front air lockable suspension and many many more good components on it. The question is, can we get it cheaper? I've only seen a single picture from it, but I've got a feeling that is our bike. So let's go, let's see it and make the deal there and then. We've got the bike and you can tell we've got a competition edition in our hands. Massive difference between the bikes we had so far in our show and this particular one. We've paid under the asking price, but that's purely because there is more work needed than we want. Is it worth it? We shall find out. So let's go back to the garage and show you this amazing bike. Right, we've got our boardman and we've paid only 70 pounds for it. I think it's worth that all day long. We did it again. We've got a fantastic mountain bike for a bargain price. Can't wait to show it to you and begin the work on it. So let's go to the garage and show you what we've got for today. We're back and look at our amazing Boldman. As I said, we've got 26 inch wheels. We've got SRAM shifters and derailers, 27 gears. We've got front lockable air suspension with 120 millimeter travel. As I said, quite a good mountain bike. Now, the bad bits and why we've paid only 70 pounds for it. So as you can see, the saddle is pretty run down. Also, we'll need to change the grips. We'll need to outsource two hydraulic brakes. So all of those jobs are cosmetic and they should be pretty easy. But first, let's go upstairs. Let's put it on the stand and let's make sure we didn't miss on any other issues with our boardman today. We've got our bike on the stand and as I said, we want to make sure we haven't missed on any issues with it before we start changing bits and bobs. Gears are running pretty smooth. Wheels looking good, they're straight. The bearings in the headset are also good. Even better, there is no movement in the bottom bracket. So all that looks to me, we'll have to only focus on the cosmetics. We'll have to change the grips, get a second-hand hydraulic brakes, and also outsource a nice saddle for our boardman. And with all that, I'm excited to bring it back to life and glory. So let's go, let's find our parts and let's start putting them one by one. We'll begin by replacing our old brakes. We've managed to outsource a nice second-hand set which costed only 20 pounds and the tech to track competition so i think they'll definitely look good on our boardman so let's do that but first we'll have to take all the bits from here and then we can go ahead so just pull the old grips they should be coming like that same here then we'll need to remove the brake just this side. Okay. 
and the same for the other one. Alright. We got our old and nasty brake. We will now get the front one. Yeah, it is the front one. Let's take it out from here first. One bolt. So removing the two bolts will release our caliper and then we can take the whole system off. There it is, our second bolt. And now the caliper comes loose. The cable comes from here. Voila! We got our brake off. Get the new one and just install it in the same easy way. Right here. Clicks on to the clip and then we've got our caliper down in here. Don't tidy it yet or stick on the second bolt. So when you tidy your brake, you want to hold the brake, so that's gonna keep the disc in the middle. And then just tidy it. That should do the job, let's find out. Hey, look at that! It's looking better now. All we have to do is install the rear brake. Right, we've got our brakes. Our final step would be installing some cable ties so that it's kept nice and tidy. That's the last cable tie and now our bike is performing better with its new brakes. All we have to do now is install our grips and also change the saddle. So let's crack on and give our bike a brand new look. Our next step is to install our brand new grips for our bike. They're just slideable, just slide them in. All that's left is the saddle and I believe that bike is turning into an easy flip. So let's change the saddle and let's change the whole look of our bike. We need an Allen key again. I'll untie the saddle. And that's how easy it is to come out. Got our saddle off. We have outsourced a special Boardman saddle to go well with our bike. Let's see how it's gonna look like. Before we tie it, we wanna make sure it's nice and straight. I think it should go slightly down. Our bike, it's already looking amazing. Look at it. So let's now wipe the bike, prepare it for the picture and find a new buyer for it. It's already looking like a decent second-hand bike. Look at it, we are done with our Boltman. When I went above this bike, I felt like that's the most unlocked bike out there. And I was probably right, but with some good parts and some TLC, now it's given a brand new life. I'm excited to take it now to our favorite spot, take the pictures and see who is gonna be interested in our lovely Boltman competition. The fun is over, now let's get serious in selling our bike. Here it's our Boardman competition. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Now, let's do a little breakdown and let's see how much we spent in total for our bike. As you remember, we went out, we bought it for 70 pounds. We spent 10 more for the petrol, 20 more for the brakes and 10 more for the saddle. So in total, we spent 110 pounds. Looking at the bike myself, I'm thinking of about 189 pounds that's how much we're gonna ask for. Can we get the full asking price in November? Let's find out. We've created the ad on the marketplace and we've got an instant interest in our bike. First, we've got some time wasters as usual and then we've managed to get some serious buyers. And our first one, it's on the way. He's looking for a mountain bike to commute every day. And I believe our little champion, it's more than good for that. Let's go, let's meet him and let's see what he thinks about it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the deal today as the buyer didn't feel comfortable being recorded, but I'm sure he will definitely enjoy its new bike. We end up selling it for 180 pounds with a total profit of 70 pounds. And now the bike is on the way to fight another day. 
and we have some good profit to show for it. If you want to see more bikes getting a tender loving care from Flip My Bike, then join me again soon. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you've got value. See you in the next one.